Hello and welcome. In this video, we will see how a trader can make a profit or a loss in an options trade. Alright? Now, to earn profit after buying an option or selling an option, a trader can do one of these. He can hold the option till expiry or he can sell or buy before expiry. Okay, so let me take an example and explain what happens if a person holds the option till expiry or buys or sells before expiry. Okay, now the example here is that of Asian Paints stock. Okay, Asian Paints stock is trading currently at 3135 rupees and today is 16th June 2023. So the price of stock, the spot price of stock as of 16th June 2023 is 3135 rupees. And the option of Asian Paints has a lot size of 200. Okay. The expiry of options is 29th June 2023. Alright. Now, first I will explain about call option. In this example, I have taken a strike price which is 3180. 3180. 3180 strike price has premium of 20.45 rupees. Okay, 20.45 rupees. Now let us say that I am a I am an option buyer and I buy 3180CE call option. Okay, 3180CE. Now if I have to buy this call option, I need to pay 20.45, which is the premium, into the lot size 200. So this is the amount that I need to pay to the seller to buy one lot of Asian Paints option. Okay. So let us say that I do this. Alright. I am an option buyer and I have bought one lot of Asian Paints option of 3180 stock uh, strike price. Okay. Now, here is a graph. Here is a graph. On the X axis, we have stock price. On the y-axis, we have premium. Below the x-axis, we have negative values for premium. Above the x-axis, we have positive values for premium. Okay. This red line shows you the profit of a call option buyer. Okay. This red line shows you the profit of a call option buyer. Now, see, this is at minus 20.45. What is this minus 20.45? It is the amount that the call option buyer has paid the seller. Okay. Let us assume that I am this call option buyer. Initially, initially, when I buy the option, I will be at a loss. Correct? I will be at a loss of this much rupees because I have paid 20.45 20.45 into lot size to the seller. So minus 20.45 minus 20.45 It is my loss initially. Okay? And if I have bought this option what is my expectation? that the stock price will go above this price. Correct? My expectation is that the stock price will go above this. And only when it goes above this, I will be making a profit. That is my assumption. But in reality, it is not so. Let us see why. Until the stock price is 3180, until the stock price reaches 3180, I will be at a loss of 20.45 rupees. Okay. 
until the stock price reaches 3180 i will be at a loss of 20.45 rupees into the lot size i am not taking into consideration the lot size okay now as soon as the stock starts to move above 3180 what i will be earning is the premium so basically as the stock price starts moving up or above 3180 i will be earning back the premium that i had paid to the seller okay so in reality i will be making profit only when the stock price moves above this value how did i get this value 3180 which is the strike price plus the premium that i had paid to the seller so this plus this 3200.45 only when the stock price moves above 3200 rupees i will start to make a profit okay so this is for call option buyer i hope it is clear until 3180 i will be at a loss i had paid the i have paid the premium to the seller correct so i will be at a loss when it starts to move above 3180 i will start earning back the premium that i had paid to the seller and only when only when it moves above 3200.45 i will start earning my profit so this above the x axis is my profit profit of call option buyer okay now if we see the profit line of call option seller it is opposite to that of call option buyer see here initially he is at a profit of 20.45 why is he at a profit of 20.45 because he has received this from the buyer let us say buyer is me i have given this much rupees to the seller to buy the option correct so initially he will be at a profit of 20.45 20.45 rupees and he will be in a profit till the price reaches 3180 rupees what is call option seller's view that the price will not go above this value okay so until the stock is below 3180 he will be at a profit which is equal to the premium that i have paid or call option buyer has paid once it starts to move above 3180 rupees once the stock starts to move above 3180 rupees he will start losing the premium that he had received from the buyer okay so he will start losing the premium that he had received from the buyer and once the price moves above 3200.45 rupees he will start to make a loss okay he will start making loss till then he will be at a profit once it reaches 3200.45 he will start to make a loss and the loss will be equal to the profit made by the buyer all right so i hope this is clear so in reality even though the strike price is this if the price of the stock moves above that we will not be making a profit or the buyer will not be making a profit so it is 3180 plus the stock price 3200 so the price has to move above this to make a profit okay now i had told that to earn profit after buying or selling an option a trader can do this or this now let us see this condition first and then see this okay let us say that let us say that the option has expired on 29th june 2023 okay this is the buying price this is the buying price of the option 
and the strike price was 3180 rupees all right now let us say that on 29th june the stock price is 3180 rupees so the stock price is 3180 rupees upon the expiry on expiry the stock has come from 3135 to 3180 and it is or it has stopped there if the stock price is 3180 on expiry on expiry remember on expiry then the buyer loses this much seller gains this much see 3180 so the buyer loses this much and the seller gains this much when the price is 3180 3180 okay this is the first condition second is stock price on expiry comes to 3200.45 this price this price 3200.45 if the stock price comes to 3200.45 no profit or no loss for buyer and seller because once it starts to move above 3180 the option buyer will start to earn back his premium and the option seller will start to lose the premium that he had gotten from the buyer and once it reaches 3200.45 both will be at a no profit no loss situation okay so at 3200.45 no profit or no loss for buyer and if the price moves above and it moves above to any value okay any value the buyer has unlimited profit possibility and the seller has unlimited loss possibility okay the price break even price is 3200.45 we call it as break even price above 3200.45 whatever the price may be whatever the price may be it may reach 3300 or 400 or 500 we do not know but whatever it is the possibility of profit for the buyer is unlimited and the possibility of loss for the seller is unlimited okay so this is what happens if if you buy an option or sell an option and hold it till expiry okay that is first condition second condition is you sell it before expiry before expiry 29th june 2023 you sell the options or you buy back the options if you are a seller okay now let us see the conditions here you had bought on 16th june correct you had bought on 16th june 2023 now the next day itself let us say that the premium increases to 40.45 now we are not considered about the stock price how much the stock price has gone to no it is not that we are worried about only the premium okay so let us say that today you had bought the option by paying this much and tomorrow the premium has increased to this much so you can sell the option and make this much profit okay how is this it is 20 into 200 which is 4000 how is this 20 see the premium has increased to 40.45 from 20.45 so this minus this the premium has increased by 20 points so 20 into lot size is 4000 rupees this is the buyer's profit this is the seller's loss okay now of course you will be getting this back you will be getting this back along with this so totally it is 8090 because 40.45 is 20 points above 20.45 all right so this plus this is what you will be getting in your account if you sell it when the premium increases to 40.45 
okay now let us say that today you will take second condition now let us say that today you have bought the option at this price and tomorrow the premium decreases to 10.45 okay the option or the stock price did not move according to your expectation and the next day itself the premium decreases to 10.45 so 20.45 minus 10.45 is 10 points 10 into 2000 is 2000 rupees so this will be the buyer's loss buyer's loss means buyer of the option option buyer's loss and this will be the seller's profit of course you will get this back but you will have a loss of this so 4090 minus 2000 is 2090 rupees so totally you will get 2090 rupees back if you are an option buyer okay now the third case premium becomes zero you are an option buyer you had bought at this price yesterday and today the premium had has become zero chances are there okay premium becomes zero so the buyer's loss would be this one whatever he has paid he had paid to the seller and this will be the seller's profit seller's profit okay so remember that if you are selling or buying back before expiry you are not worried about the stock price value you are worried about only the premium okay premium so according to the premium you will be selling the option or buying back the option okay i hope it is clear now let me move to the second case which is put option put option same stock price same lot size same date of buying same expiry okay but now this time the strike price is 3100 rupees or 3100 okay the premium is 20.20 and this time i am an option buyer and i have bought 3100 pe put option my expectation is that the price of the stock will move below 3100 rupees okay now to buy one lot i have paid premium into lot size which is 4040 rupees okay now we have the same graph here on the x axis is the stock price on the y axis is the premium okay and this is how the put option buyers profit line would look like okay now initially initially put option buyer will be at a loss of 20.20 rupees why is it so because he has paid 20.20 rupees to the put option seller correct so he will be at a loss of 20.20 rupees initially now let us say that i am this put option buyer okay now when i buy 3100 pe what is my expectation my expectation is that the price of the stock will go below 3100 rupees and when it goes below 3100 rupees i will start to make a profit that is my expectation but in reality it doesn't happen like this so till the price reaches 3100 rupees the put option buyer which is me will be in a loss of 20.20 rupees so till the price moves uh, or till the price reaches 3100 rupees i will be at a loss of 20.20 into this much rupees okay and once it starts to move below 3100 rupees I will start to earn back the premium that I had paid to the seller. Okay, I am the put option buyer. Once the price starts to move below 3100 rupees, I will start to earn back the premium that I had paid to the put option seller. Okay, so only when the price moves below this value, I will start to make a profit. Now, what is this value? Strike price 3100 
minus the premium that I had paid to the seller. So 3,100 minus 20.20 is this much. So only when the stock starts to move below this price, I will start to make a profit, which you can see here. Okay. So till 3079.8, I will be at a loss. Okay. Next, the opposite is true for put option seller. Put option seller will be initially in a profit. Okay, in a profit of how much of the premium that he had received from the buyer. If I am the buyer, I have paid this much to the seller to buy the option, correct? So he will be at a profit of this much rupees 20.20 into lot size. I have not considered lot size here. Profit of 20.20 rupees initially, he will be at a profit. Only when the price starts to move below 3100, he will start to give back the premium to seller or only when the stock starts to move below 3100 rupees, he will start to lose the money or the premium that he had received. Okay. And once it crosses this value, once the stock moves below 3079.8 rupees, he will start losing the money. And whatever he loses will be the buyer's profit. Okay, buyer's profit. When the seller, when the seller sold me this, what was his expectation? That the price will not go below this. Okay, it will stay above this. That was his expectation. But once it started to move below 3100, he started losing his premium and after the break even point, we call this as break even point. After the break even point, he started losing money. Okay. Yes. Now, as I told you before, as I mentioned before, to earn profit after buying or selling an option, a trader can hold the option till expiry or sell or buy before expiry. Let us see these two conditions now. Okay. First, we will see this. Put option 3100 PE on expiry, which is on 29th June. Let us see the first condition. The first condition is on expiry, the stock price uh, comes to 3100 rupees. So it comes and stops at 3100 rupees, 3100 rupees exactly, which is this. The stock price on expiry is 3100 rupees. If that is so, the buyer, buyer loses this much amount, seller gains this much amount. So whatever money the buyer had paid the seller will be the buyer's loss and whatever money the seller had obtained as premium from the buyer will be his profit. Okay, if the price of the stock stops at or reaches 3100 only. Second condition is on expiry. Remember on expiry, not before that on expiry. On expiry stock price reaches 3079.8 rupees, which is this point. If it reaches this point, no profit, no loss for buyer and seller. Both buyer and seller will be at a no profit, no loss situation. Okay, zero. And once the stock starts to move below this value, the possibility of profit for option buyer is unlimited and the possibility of loss for seller is unlimited. Okay, because it can go down drastically. We do not know how much it will go down. So possibility of unlimited profit for buyer and for seller, it is unlimited loss. Okay, so this is if you hold the option till expiry. If not, you can sell the option before expiry too. Okay, before expiry too. Buying price was this much. Buying premium was 20.25. Let us say you had bought this on 16th June. 
on 17th june the premium increases to 40.25 so a difference of 20 points 20 into 2 is 4000 rupees which is buyer's profit and seller's loss of course you will be getting this back upon this you will get back this so 4000 4, sorry 8040 will be in your account okay similar to the one that we had calculated for call option that is why i'm not explaining you in detail okay second condition is premium decreases to this value 10.25 the buyer's loss would be this and the exactly will be the seller's profit okay and finally the premium becomes zero buyer's loss is seller's profit which is the premium paid all right yes so these two are the scenarios by which a buyer or a seller makes a profit in an option trade by holding it till expiry or selling it off before expiry okay so i hope it is clear if not do watch the video once again and i'm sure it will be clear okay so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video till then take care and thank you for watching